Incoming message, anomaly frequency. The child of Helios. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our living ship guide. If you're trying to get your living ship, this is the guide for you. So in the last episode, we got our heart, but we had to make sure it matured. So now, 20 hours later, it is a matured heart. So now we have our we have our brain, we have our heart, but we're gonna need to get some more stuff. So let's move some liquid sun down in here. There we go. So now that we have our matured heart, we need to go into space and make contact with the living ship again. So let's get up in here. Again, guys, I'm trying to put these out as separate videos just in case like someone got messed up with the heart or the brain or whatever. So you can pick whichever one you want. Let's pulse drive a little bit. Remember, we have to make contact with the uh, living ship. So you have to be in space for it to happen, for it to show up. So, and I don't even think you need to pulse drive. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, there we go. Anomaly detected. Here it is. You are on, you are on our path. We see it. We understand where it leads. It is necessary. Perhaps we thank you, perhaps. The words of the ship ring in my ears. They have real expression, an unsynthesizable unsynth quality, and yet I see no pilot. Let's do it. My dance with this strange life form, uh, for I am convinced this ship is alive, continues. It has bound itself to me, and this egg is the bridge. So now our egg will have a different location. So what we're looking for is a uh, visions of a remember always go into your inventory and look at your egg when touched conjures a powerful vision of a water world covered in lush and verdant plant life so it's going to be in a different system we need to go to our galaxy map and we're going to need to go up here follow your uh, mission but it'll it'll have that egg symbol next to it so we're going to a blue system this time so again guys remember you're going to want to have all your upgrades ready to go. You want to have all your glyphs for your portals because we're going to run into that later on. So we need a blue. We need an indium drive for this. So luckily, I already have that. So we're going to head there now. And yeah, earlier, like when it first launched, it was very, very hard to find all this stuff. Like you had to read the description of your egg. They've kind of eased up on that, it looks like. So it's been a while since I've actually had to do the whole storyline again. So it's kind of... It's kind of cool going through and seeing this again, you know, uh, two years later. No, uh, yeah, I think it's two years later after it came out. So there we go. And wait a minute. Let me see. It says, you know, it already has it marked. So water world with lush and verdant plant life. There's my marker. So we have to go down towards this planet. Yeah, it's crazy. It automatically marks it for you. But yeah, it's so cool. I mean... They did make it easier. I will say that. They did make it easier. Before, it was real difficult to kind of figure out, oh, does it mean this one or does it mean another one? It would point you to the system, but it wouldn't tell you which planet it was until you actually went down and broke the atmosphere. Once you get in the atmosphere, it'll say, oh, yeah, you've, you're, you've made it here. You're good to go. Like, watch right here. Okay, now it'll tell you, oh, you've totally made it to the planet you need to go to. So let's just land right here. This is where the marker was. Let's see where we need to go, though. So maybe over there on the right. Oh, no, on the left. So we need to go this way. I need to make sure my... I haven't checked my uh, launch fuel in a while. Let's make sure my launch fuel is good to go. Um, Yeah, it does. Oh, my God. Okay. There we go. So that's actually really nice. All right. So... We're heading this way. Again, use your target sweeper. Make sure you're running through. Oh, look at this. We have glowing min minerals. Okay. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to the plaque that we need to get to. All right. We were closer this time. It didn't take me as long to find this one over here. So we are, I think, I always double check. Always make sure I've gone to the wrong building before. So you may double check. All right. This is the one. Archive of Corvex Prime. Retrieval in progress. Log follows. Carapace program concluded. Machinery optimized. Biological core unnecessary with correct local sensory throttle configuration. Yet non-conversions insufficiently processed. Biogenesis may offer future refuge. Increased autonomy must be studied. 
Experimental Synthesis Unit Operational. Awaiting Biogenesis Materials. These words are translated designed to be read by non-convergent entities. Were the authors working beyond their uh, brief? Had they become divergent, lured by the flesh they had created? So all the Corvax, they were trying to make a body for themselves. Because the Corvax, if you don't know, are robots. So they're trying to make their own bodies. How many others have walked the same path of creation? We need an impossible membrane. We don't have it, though. The ancient Corvax machine hums faintly to itself as it etches another blueprint, another fragment of the puzzle of organic life. So now we need to make an impossible membrane. We need living water, a fine mesh of tightly woven fibers, microorganisms embedded within the weave, allow it to regenerate endlessly, a perfect and infinite bionic skin. So now we need water, you guys. So where do we get water from? Wait a minute, we have a storm coming. So we need to gather living water. We need to seek living water in deep space. So anytime you, you are uh, confused or you don't know what you need to do, always, always either check the bottom right-hand side of the screen or go into your log and it'll tell you. The egg is more alive than that. I made toward progress, but we'll need a protection, a shell against the outside terrors. So we need to go into space. So let's go into space and get some living water in deep space. So we're going to pulse drive a little bit. Let's do this. So as we're pulse driving, instead of finding a living ship, we're going to find something else in this. There we go. Incoming message. Anomaly frequency. The child of Helios. Acceptance. Hope. Willing. A wave of calm washes over me as I, as my communicator tunes itself to this beautiful giant. Its message is no conventional broadcast, but an analog transmission of pure emotion. I let the feeling take hold as I contemplate the being before me. I need to request a sacrifice. I, may, I make a request of the peaceful traveler before me. Despite having no shared language, it appears to understand me, even to have been expecting this. It convulses, and I receive what I need. <laughs> That's kind of gross. The being continues on its journey. Okay. So I just got living water out of this child of Helios. So there you go, you guys. And, I mean, you can shoot it if you want to. If you're a crazy person, you can. But I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is I need to make a... Uh, I need to make impossible membrane. So in your inventory, you can make your impossible membrane by using... 100 chromatic metal, one hypnotic eye, and the 150 living water we just got from that membrane. There we go. So we, now we have it. Oh, wait a minute. It's in our ship, though. I like to keep it in my uh, suit inventory with all the other stuff. So impossible membrane is there. So now that we have it, we need to head back to our plaque in order to make our uh, shell. So, where is it at? There you are. Here it is, right here. Let's land right here. So now we need to return it and use the shell, the impossible membrane on this. Yep, there we go. Operational. Awaiting biogenesis materials. Let's insert that uh, one impossible membrane. I have prepared what was asked, and the machine has brought another piece of life into the universe. Do these clusters think? Do they feel? Where is the boundary between life and an organic machine? So now we have a fragile shell. Uh, translucent and impossibly thin, the shell is no more than the merest breath of glass, and yet it, the potential is clear. A relentless multiplicative... <laughs> multiplicative? <laughs> Hardening, adding constantly to its strength. It requires careful attendance while it matures. Another one! We have to let this one mature. How long is this one? It is too fragile for use. We need 23 hours for this one. So, guys, we have to wait for another day in order to get this thing to full maturity. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> see you guys.